Kelly Kumalo. Good morning and welcome to 959 Breakfast with your special host, me, Kelly Kumalo. And I'm not alone. I'm with the usual suspect because it's VVVVIP. Good morning. What's up? Hey, <laughs> Kelly You did try. You did try. Actually, you did it. It wasn't even. You did it well. You did it. I was so nervous. I even wanted sold spectacles. I can't see. I can barely see. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll see too much with mine, though. Yeah, yeah, she will. I would rather see too much than not see at all. Mm. At all. If you Ah, know what I mean. There you go. There you go. There you go. Smart one. It's fifteen minutes after six. Nine five nine breakfast. This is where you are. Uh, Starting her day on nine five nine, and not only starting her day on nine five nine, but allowing us to decode. Her. It is yep. a Thursday. Kelly Kumalo decoded. The entire team is here. First things first, we're talking about rituals or superstitions. Do you have any personal rituals that you live by, not a day goes by, or any superstitions that you believe in and you subscribe to every single day? Yes, for me, it's prayer. Yes, yeah. all the time. Yeah. And it's water. Ah. Yes. Every two weeks, it's water. Mm. So those What do you do with water? Yemanzi in your case. Yemanzi in your case. Mm. Oh! Mm. Oh, you think drinking water? Yes, because I was, I was I about to say we've got the exact same. Yeah, make sure I drink two liters of water <laughs> every day yeah, and yeah, prayer, yeah. definitely. That is not the kind of water <laughs> I was oh, talking yeah. about. Oh, yeah. So that's that's it. But superstitions, growing up, my mom used to say, you're not going to get married, right? And I always wanted to get married at a very young age. Here I am, single from all the custard I was scraping off the pot as a kid. <laughs> So that's one of the superstitions I was raised with, you know. Uh, But as an adult, I don't really have any superstitions, eh? Yeah. Even like the whole don't eat pork, I eat pork. I love pork. But all uh, the pigs in the land, yes. Yes. Thank you. I'm poor my pork. (laughs) I'm poor to give me a high five. I'm poor my pork. No, because when I did eat meat, I loved pork. And I was married to Little Tanalako Wesele, who believed that pork is not a good thing. Hey, but I would would cook those trotters. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But if you think about it, if you think about it, apparently if you put pork flesh and human flesh under a microscope, it is it's one the same. of the same things. Yes. Oh. So if you can literally eat a pig, you can eat a human being. Wow. No, no but I don't think the human f- flesh is that tender and tasty. And <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's about the human meat. I must use it. They say How human meat know? is stiff. <laughs> Cannibals, cannibals. Yeah. Okay, what's that? Pants, Nick, and Zim Zim. Ah, YouTube. You know, YouTube, you search how to, how to, you know, fasten up Kenyan Tara, and next thing you're watching other videos. Ah, nice and you find yourself, wait, I'm a Nice save. Yeah. No, but human meat apparently is disgusting yeah. and stiff. Rituals? Do I you mean, have? Not really. Superstitions? But besides the, whenever the, when your phone has a 303 or 1111 oh, that's and me kiss too. your phone. Yes. Yes. I'm an 1111. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. like, that's I'm like an 09, 09, 11, 11, 08. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I tell yeah. you yeah. something 12, funny? 12. Mina, I'm a one, two, three, four person. So if I'm about to do something and 1234 comes on, yeah. I feel yeah. like the universe just said yeah. Yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. wow. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Mm. I don't want to lie. Candles. Yeah. Never yeah. ever yeah. will you oh, catch yeah. me burning a red candle. Mm. I don't play with red candles yeah. at all. Yeah. Mm. Such an aggressive, overly passionate, either mm. on the positive or the negative side. Mm. It's just mm. too much of it. Can't handle it. I use yeah. them for the bedroom. Yeah. Red, red candles. candles, yeah. Oh, you're like a red light district person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, No, yeah. but it's for love, isn't it? <laughs> it's the full time, though. Like even, even with love, I play with yeah. pink candle versus yes. red. Oh. Yes. Mm. Yeah, it's mm. a little bit too passionate for my life. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. I, mean, I I will never be without impepo, even as a form of an incense stick. Mm. Yeah. There must always be impepo mm. burning at some other point. It's in interesting how mm-hmm. we are as human beings, right? Very I wonder what your rituals and superstitions are. Drop us a voice note, you know the drill. It's 19 after 6. We're decoding Kelly Kumalo. We're not even decoding. She's literally co-hosting the show. She's like literally. <laughs> The 18 hour replacement. Oh, wow, uh, guys. No, <laughs> no. That's like me saying. <laughs> no, guys, Welcome I don't think it. so. Thank yeah. you, though, but I don't think so. <laughs> wow, I can't believe how long it has been. Hey, yes. It's been ages and ages and ages, and I still sound amazing. That's me, Kim Kumar. <laughs> <laughs> the song is so bavili, and I was just saying to Dineo, I cannot believe how my voice has changed over yes, the years. Yes. I sound so 
you know, young and very crispy. And now yeah. my voice sounds you very roar. deep. Yeah. Yes. Now yeah. I roar. Yeah. Like a lion. <laughs> it's wild, eh? Because you were wild. saying your voice broke. Yes. And only men have that issue. Yeah. I was. I was like, I didn't know that female voices also. I go didn't know that. either. Yeah. And, but I kept seeing, you know, the change and noticing mm. the change. Yeah. It's no longer what it used to be. Well, it seems to be genetic because you're talking to me off air about your grandmother that, or you know, yes. also her gra- your grandmother as she matured and grew older in her mm. later years. Mm. She started her voice also deepened. Yes, it deepened, and it started sounding like a male exactly. voice. Got bigger and thicker. So I now uh, it means I'm going to sound like a man. Eventually. Soon you'll be mm. sounding like Luther Vandross. Or Barry White. Or Barry White. <laughs> oh, yeah, please, not Barry White. <laughs> or Barry White, even. Because Luther still had, you know. You know? Barry White, eh? Hey. Oh, God, no. Come on, okay, look, man, so I keep the album, guys. Yo, yo, yo. Speaking of your grandmother, where are you from exactly? Like, are you from the East or KZN? Because I remember growing up when you broke out, yeah. there was a thing with Weir Spread View, you know? People yes, say it's Foster, yeah. but I'm not, but no, no, but, but also, I lived in Foster Us as well. Oh. And Spread View. Oh. And KZN. Wait, so you started the case then? So I was born in Gatlehog. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. So I was born in Gatlehog and ju- during uh, the riots, the IFP and ANC riots. Yes. I'm assuming. Yes, Natal Spray. Natal Spray, yeah. Then we moved to KZN uh, and I spent a couple of years with my grandmother, which I'm so grateful for. And we came back to Fos Lores from Fos Lores to Spray for you. Oh, yeah. wow. Very interesting. So all over mm. the place, eh? Mm. So, Ilan Tuza, uh, 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 what are your full names? Is it just Kelly Kumalo? Is no, Kelly is living on the ID? Yes, it is. So, oh. Nontlantla? It's Nontlantla, Kelly Kumalo. Nontlantla? Yes. Nontlantla. Do you think you're a lucky one? Yes. Absolutely. Without yeah. a shadow of doubt. What do, you atta- what, what do you attach the luck to? To everything. Mm-hmm. Mira, I, I think I have overcome everything that was said to destroy me. Sure, and I think I'm fortunate to actually, you know, be still alive and have the things I have and be so content with who I am yeah. after all. It's a lot, though. It's You've a lot. gone through a lot. When you, when you talk about things that were set out to destroy you, yeah. it is a lot. Yep. Can we unpack that? Um, we can. Hour. As, as, as we your can. We grows, can. We can. Yes. We? Yes. We can. Okay. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you for giving us that room. It is six forty-four. It's a Thursday. We're decoding Kelly Kumalo. Non Kelly Kumalo. Yes. I like that Same name. Full. The fortunate one. The fortunate one. Yes. Mm. The fortunate one. Non Tlantla. Kelly Kumalo. Six forty-four. Welcome to it. His name is and uh, featuring Linda, the vocalist on this one, Baningi. Uh, it is 6.53, listening to 959 Breakfast. On the street, on the air, we're everywhere. Decoding Kili Kumalo. So you're uh, going to be working with him, Tunzi. I've worked, You've with, worked him, with him. And he's also part of the concert that's taking place on the 17th this coming Saturday. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, he's featured on a song called Bazo Kuluma, which yeah. comes out next month. Yeah. So I was just saying, I can't believe how amazing he is as an artist. He's brilliant. He's insane. He even plays yes. and gentle. produces. And he writes. Yeah. He's good. But I love his soul more. He's such a gentle soul. I was about soul. to say, I'm so attracted mm. to his soul, his aura, his energy. He's mm. so Gentle, very so godly. Yeah. <laughs> He's very tender. Like mm. you, you, you only want to respect him. Absolutely. I think that yeah. that's what he brings. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Did something happen to you ever as a child or as a baby that already informed everyone that there's talent here? Yes, absolutely. I used to sing on my mom's back, like Bang Really? Sing. Wow. There was a song I used to like. Amen. 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 Because it was the simplest. Do you still time. remember it? Amen. Amen, 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 hallelujah. That's insane. Oh, I know that song. Must have seen that too, right? Mm. Yeah. How old were you? I think I was two, three. That's that's mm. wild. Mm. That's very wild. And then I went on to be uh, to be a lead singer, a Sunday school choir. Mm. Which was insane as well because yeah. I mean, at that point, benga ga is calling, but now the the Sunday school teacher will sit me down and teach me the lyrics of the song. Yeah, wow. yeah. And you would just grasp them. Yes, I would just grasp and, and just go sing. and lead the you know the choir. So then. Uh, after how long or how old were you then when you had another sibling? Did you remain, I mean, with all that talent, did you remain your mom's favorite? I don't know if I ever was my parents' favorite. I, 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 I don't know. I really don't. They loved me, but I think um, 
my sister is more of the favorite because I mean she's the last born. Yeah. yeah. Why do you why, why do you say that? Is it how she's treated? I mean, there's a lot of things that she would get away with that I can't get away my with. My sisters uh, say the same thing yeah. about me. Yeah. My so sisters say I think it's a last born thing. Mm, it's a, it's a, a, yes. Yes. Yeah. So it like yeah, it's that last born thing. I yeah. mean, I see it even with Otingo, and I'm trying to, you know, um, balance the two. Goti, this I w- I don't want the same thing that happened to me to happen to my son. There must always be a balance. Mm. So Tingo can't get away with stuff, even if I feel like oh, the number two is last born, yeah. But I have to because I also have a first born yeah. that needs to see that selling So do, do you, did you ever get over? The, th- the the injustices that happened to you as an older sibling i don't even think it was injustice in, in, in injustices um um, uh, um i believe that i'm that child that portrayed strength mm-hmm. and the and, and independence as well mm-hmm. so i feel like my parents were like no lost i'm temple mm. she she'll be okay mm. as much as i needed parents and as much as i needed more love but i was that child that said Minangyagwa zuzanzela anything and everything. And anyway, yeah. Zuzanzela anyway. Mm. Did you have that attitude? Yes, I've always, even now, I mm. still have the same attitude. Mm. You said your song that is coming up with um, Umtunzi is called Bazo Kuluma. Yes. Do you always feel like you are trapped in Ngulumo Zabantu? I used to, but I no longer feel so simply because I've owned my place in society mm. and I understand that who I am comes within Gulum. Mm. So whether I like it or not, people are going to talk. Mm. I mean, if I'm in Kuluma Abu Makelo and Elokshin, what more about me? So in Kuluma are part of life. Mm. It's something that we all have to ex- accept. Mm. And what's your coping mechanism for that? And how do you block it all out? Yeah, because I mean, good in Kuluma, and then there's those in Kuluma that are just like so heavy. They're, they're so big, you can't mm. ignore them. And I think that's a very strong question. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think for me, I'm way ahead of everything. I see beyond in mm. and I understand what it, where it comes from and, and how to deal with it. Sometimes in Kuluma, it's people projecting. We need to be aware of that as well. Mm. People are projecting what they are going through mm. and they have no punching back. And mm. therefore, you become the punching back. Mm. Mm. So you need to assess mm. before you can internalize it. Do you think there's something about your spirituality that, that you draw resilience from? Um, do you believe in uh, numerical orders? I mean, your birthday is mm. on 11-11. I have a lot of ones. You have a lot of ones. A lot of ones. Tell me about I them. was born on the 11th, mm-hmm. on the 11th month, mm-hmm. at 11. Hectic. Mm. So there, there's a lot of 11s. What does that and, mean to you spiritually? Uh, for me, it means I'm here to give to society. So whenever I'm attacked, I go back to the place of giving and understand why I was designed the way that I'm designed. You start back at one. Yes. You go back to one. Go back to one. <laughs> See, I've seen her perform this song, Kili Kumalo, Mbini, like, this song. Hi, 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 hi. I know you're a vessel. So many Thank messages you. are <laughs> delivered through you. Thank you. And you know, I think there's some sort of prophecy that happens to you during music through songs, or through yeah. songs. Mm. 23 minutes after 7, it's just gone 24 after 7. I want to take you to a moment where it's almost like everything started becoming a whirlwind of shock when we put the pieces together mm. to that moment of prophecy. Mm. I think it was the last time I saw you together with the late, right? Yeah. Um, your former partner. Um, you were on that sports show together, right? Oh, yes. And he was made to introduce you because mm. you were about to perform the song Asinna. Yeah. And Asinna... I still to this day say it's a song of prophecy. Um, mm. it's, it's a weird, wild twist because the song is about a woman mm. who's, who's been accused of the death of her partner. Yes. And she is saying, but it's not me. Mm. That is so wild. Do you feel this way about you in music? That you I it's, think it's very after prophetic. that, I started paying attention and also watching what I sing about. Because everything that I sing about comes to life. 
also hands even with yeah. the voice of africa i had to change the narrative yeah because everything i say comes to life have you so, realized the power of your tongue yo listen you know i used to have this manager and i think she saw my gift before i could realize it and mm. she used to say to me kelly watch what you say mm. especially when angry Mm. because you can't reverse it once you've said it. Mm. So I really am a very positive person because I know once I say it, it comes to life. Mm. I've cried. I've cried I don't know how many tears looking back at that moment and I'm, I'm, I'm specifically sitting on that moment because I could not even imagine your pain. Yeah. I could I, not even imagine your pain. Well, they say it gets better with time. Does it really, Kelly? Um, it doesn't. You learn to live with it. It doesn't get better. You you learn to live with it. I can't imagine it's getting better. You're in the news <laughs> every single day. Um, that doesn't phase me anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, I was born to be in the news. I guess, huh? Yeah. I guess. Whether I do good or bad, I will always be in the news. So mm-hmm. it, it, it really does not phase me anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're moving through it daily. Like... I've accepted that this is my journey. It's like Jesus having to carry the cross for mm-hmm. everyone. I'm like, okay, this is my cross. Carry it with pride and joy and keep it moving. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've, get, you've kept it moving. Um, I, would, I would assume by now you would have 11 albums because of the numerical order. Around, <laughs> right? 11, 11, I know, one, one, one. But you know what yeah. the beauty is, is that it's coming in two years. That al- yes, you see, so <laughs> album number eleven mm-hmm. is coming on the second in two years. <laughs> like the numbers, <laughs> yellow and Oh, now eleven, one plus one. one yeah. Plus one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. It's coming, so it's coming in two years. It's, it's, oh. it's coming in two years. Hectic, because you now have nine albums. You've done exceptionally well. Because yeah. there's musicians that um, they take su- like super long breaks in between. Yeah maybe for the content to settle so that mm. they have stuff to write mm. about and maybe for them to process mm. their emotions mm. Mm. you've got you've been going through a lot yeah. do you think that's why you've been churning out the albums because life hasn't given you an opportunity and i don't even breathe? think that the space is 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 uh, is short it's yeah. not I, th- I feel it's long yeah for me i mean to not have an album in two years i mean that's a a reasonable um, um, a space of time for an album. It for is. The creation of one. Like, yes. Your music is so relevant, Soul. Correct me if I'm wrong, that it does not feel like she's on a break when actually she is. Yes. Mm. Especially even with this one. Yeah. I'm, 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 I mean, I'm, I will be releasing a new, a, a new album before the end of this year, but it feels like how I just released yesterday, but mm. I didn't. It's been mm. two years. That's, that's wild. Mm. All the time in studio. I have to. I want to chat about your relationship with your sister. It's very real. Yeah. And by real, I mean, it's not only just the pretty, happy Instagram picture perfect yeah. life. Yeah. But literally, even the conflicted moments yes. are superbly real. Yeah. Because also, we, we get insight of your battles <laughs> with your sister. Are you guys okay? We are good. We are very good, actually. Um, I think we needed. Um, that bit of a break Uh Um, you know when you are so close to one another to a point where you lose self-identity which is a dangerous thing for for an individual so I felt I I now feel like okay we needed that it had to happen she had to find her outside of me I had to find me outside of her and now as we come together we both have two different worlds now that we keep to ourselves and when we come together it becomes one big world yeah yeah it was very difficult for some of us no no <laughs> here we are loving the both of you now you have to pick sides you hey, feel now like it's you have like, to pick sides mm. hey you must like double tap on this photo <laughs> and I took it very no, I took it very personal. Did you Even take it personally? no, I took it very especially like for you. If it's it was someone else, I would let it go. But get when I Is it like that in your personal circle? No, was no, it, was uh, it, like, was it, there, it was, was definitely like that. I even called the meeting crazy. and said, "Listen, mm. you guys have to decide." And it's okay if you decide to be part of my sister's, you know, corner. Yeah. It's okay. I take no offense, wow. but you you must decide. And then my husband, we are in a so so six seventeen. No, Wanda actually said it. It's always like that about picking sides. 
<laughs> no, Wanda actually said it in the meeting and she was like, so, but show me what happens when you guys reconcile? What happens to us yeah. when we've picked the side? Yeah. You know? And I know it was very selfish of me, but when I'm, when I'm angry, I'm like that, decide what you want. Yeah. Even with my mother, I said to her, no, I won't take any offense. That, no, that's how hectic I get when mad. I was like, no, ma, I, I won't hold anything against you. I will still love you. I will still support you. However, I would know where you stand. I feel like we have a front row seat to episodes of your reality show right now. I swear to you, like I love it. 7.30 on the dot, we're headed to the news desk. As it is a Thursday, we are decoding Kelly Kumalo, getting to know her just a tad bit better, yeah? All good. Della Soul featuring Shaka Khan. She's also got a big voice, eh? Hey? Shaka Khan. Mm, yeah. oh, yes. She's, she's such a Yo. diva, that one. That voice. Yeah. Yo. She's the one Kanye sampled in Through the Wire, right? Mm, time yeah, yeah, it was she Through is. the Fire. And you actually told me that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? She's yeah. good. So, Kelly, what's the most annoying question to be asked in an interview that and it's a, it annoys you <laughs> purely because... Like, How are you holding up on what? Does that drain you emotionally? Like, that question really, is like, really? You think I'm holding up? I'm living. Oh. Like, imagine every time you go to an interview, how are you holding up? And then I'm going to get asked about the same thing that I've been asked like for the past eight years. There's so many sides to Kelly than just the incident that happened in my life. Yeah. I'm not defined by it. Mm. Yeah. So every interview that I go to, I don't know whether it's about ratings or uh, I, I, I really don't know. I'm yet to find out. But everyone wants to ask you the same thing over and over. But haven't you read about it? Have you, haven't, you, haven't you seen multiple interviews about the same thing? But you still want to ask anyway. Yo, one thing I've, I've never heard you like discuss, maybe you were asked about it. When you came out, um, obviously, Ichichi was big and... There was that thing that, you know, are you itchy to or aren't you? Did you clear it up at some point back then? I did a couple of times. Uh. And, 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 you know, I, I, when that happened, mm -hmm. I had an interview with, with um, a Sunday Sun or something, mm. journalist, mm. Who, um, who was a friend to my record label at the time. And I had just got proposed on national TV. Yes, yes. So he's like, how's the, um, you know, engagement going? I'm like, it's going great. And um, he asked me if I'm staying with my boyfriend at the time. And I'm mm. like, no, we are not staying together. And I'm planning to keep it that way until we are married. Oh. That's how the story got twisted. Oh. So I had not said anything about, you know, my virginity. I mean, it's something that I, you know, grew oh. up being told about. Your sexual stuff you don't talk about in, in, in public. Nothing to do with so anyone, really. It, it's got nothing to do with anyone, whether I'm a virgin or not. But however, that story was twisted into Kelly says she's a virgin. Oh. Why would I go out and, and, and want to, you know, advertise... Um, something so private. Actually. Something so private. Well, it's like for brownie points with the brands. It's just a good thing. Even Beyonce, you know, for the longest time, it was uh, mocked. I don't know if from hey, her what. Jay Z but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, she's <laughs> really getting a Jay's, Jay's fluid. <laughs> no, but it worked. As, so for me, it yeah. actually did work as much as it was not something yeah. that I insinuated. And we're yes. like, okay, now they're running with it. What do we do? Yeah. Then mm. we create the song. I wrote the song called Yemi Nangilichich. Yeah. 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 Ah. So they gave me the narrative. Smart. Do you have, because I know, you know, a lot of most of what we're discussing now is you know media pushing a narrative and the public running with it mm, right mm, mm. is there perhaps some sympathy some understanding from your side as to why the public is into the story so much that annoys you when you get asked about it because there's more to um, you than that given the fact that he was a huge public figure as you are it, it's not even sympathy i feel sorry for them because for me it's like you don't have a life of your own, of your own such that you are latching on anything that has to do with something of some sort of a story even if it's not there you want to create it in your head so that mm -hmm. you 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 are kept entertained yeah it's a big story though it's it's a it's one that is very tough to ignore and i know and understand <clears throat> and i think 
that is why half the time we probably wouldn't want to get into it also because it's a legal matter yeah right and i'm one who says i i believe in this if you have any legal matter that you're going mm, through mm, mm. just stay away from the public court stay Abs- away from the exactly media court. Don't exactly play into that space. and also what i've learned is that it's no longer you know a sensitive issue to people uh-huh. it's entertainment that's where the sad part is. Yeah. Mm. It's no longer a sensitive issue. People mm. have lost touch with the fact that families have suffered through this. Individuals have suffered through this. Children. And children have suffered mm. through this. Mm. And they've taken this and made it an entertainment thing. A very unfortunate incident that has become truly a mockery. Yeah. A mockery. Yeah. Everyone comes up with their own stories and they build it up and they believe it and they run with it for likes and for clout. Are there times when you're home by yourself and you're thinking of, and the name Senzo Meiwa comes to mind and you just break down? Um, not really. Was there ever a time? Yes, I've had those moments. I've had those moments, but not anymore. I mean, I mean, you, you learn to live with with such things and you accept them for what they are. Have you ever dreamt about him? Oh, I do. Uh-huh. Wow. I get visits uh-huh. most what? of the time, yeah. You guys chat? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's almost like a Hollywood movie love story. No, I, 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 I get insane. chats it's all so the time. Unreal. So for me, it's, it's, it's very comforting. Mm-hmm. You, I worry when someone I, I adored or had as a very big part of my life um, passes on and never visits. Yes, it's worrying. It, yeah, it's very worrisome. I mean, even with my grandmother, for years I didn't see her and I was like, I mm-hmm. You know? And when she finally did visit me, I was like, okay, we are good now. Lovely. Yeah. Decoding Kelly Kumala, top of the hour, ladies and gents. 959 Breakfast, it's 8 o'clock. This is Gaba Canal, George Leslie featuring Russell Zuma, Hila Intlizioyam, 8-11, 8-11. Uh, still decoding the one, the only, the lovely, the powerful Kelly Kumala. Your children, like any mother, um, obviously they mean the world to you. Yeah. What's the one thing you wish for your kids? To be kind. Uh-huh. And... Um, Always um, have their own opinion on things uh-huh. and not be spoon fed uh-huh. or not allow um, society to dictate what they should understand and not understand. So they should always question things. Do you allow them to question you? Yes. Oh, and they question me all the time. Yeah. At first, I never used to like it because I'm in Mumama, why you from was in just a But at the end of the day, you understand that these are your kids and this is how you groom them to have a character in society mm-hmm. and question things. So it's important for your kids to question things and not just, you know, consume. Mm. Yeah. Do you talk to them about their fathers? Yeah. Regardless of your personal feelings yeah. around their dads? Absolutely, particularly it's, it's, with, it's, with Christian, it's important. Yeah, and 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 it has to be his decision how he feels about him, what he wants. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a tough parenting. Are you guys co-parenting at all? I don't think I'll ever co-parent with someone that has not showed me who they are. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, I've built a foundation for my kids. Mm-hmm. So if I'm Gwazi, then you cannot be allowed into my kid's life because I don't know what impact you are bringing. Is it positive or not negative? Mm. Don't you feel that maybe one day might backfire because I've heard so many boys or girls grow up and say, but mama, uh, you shielded me from dad. He should have disappointed me It's not about even shielding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me a reason to shield. I have no reason to shield. I'm literally going on with my life and just raising my kids. Mm. So no one has knocked at my door. No one has had guts to actually take me to court and say, you've denied me my child, therefore I am involving the, you know, the law. Oh, go on, dear. Like as a mum, you know, if someone wants to take your children and we are going to Asulega on your own, Mm -hmm. there's the law that you can bring into place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good recourse. Yes, that has not happened. Or even someone really, or if we are Thabagi, there's parents, you know, Mm -hmm. elders. That you can ask, so let me rather have 
uh, Ubaba or Rukoko, a spokesperson or whoever, or a umfundisi yes, that is going to yes. uh, speak on my behalf because I feel I need my son in my life. Mm-hmm. Therefore, I'm going to go an extra mile. Mm-hmm. We have not had that. Oh, God. So there's been no. So yes, I want to buy Nemi Lomo. Abo abo amo rabi shaba kul maga kul egusation social media. And kul minten ngazas. Who has knocked at my door? Mm. Because umund oting umfunum tanam. If we sulegi le ngabazal, you say court. I mean, I would take you to court. I would pay the lawyers to come and get my kids from you. Mm. That's how much I love my children. If you truly want to so be a part it's of like, uh, Mina, from my understanding, this is a person who says who, who is happy with the fact that no one is bothering them. Mm. Mm. No, no, no one is bothering them for, you know, maintenance and all of that school fees and everything else. So, pfft. What else? Kelly's doing it, so why should I bother? But Magu's Abandu in public, nyefe, 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 nfunum tanam. That seems to really irritate you. It does, because, I mean, you are creating a very distorted picture of who I am. Mm. When have you knocked at my door? Why do you think people like to find comfort in distorting your image? Apart maybe from, maybe apart from it's, the... it's, uh, it's newsworthy and it's, it, it entertains them. It makes them mm. somehow feel warm inside. It's not just about me. They do it to a lot of people. They do it to you. Yeah, yeah of course, of course, yeah. of course. What's of course. your dream uh, for your kids? I mean, so much has happened around them. You know, when as a mom, what do you, you know what Fisa I want she them to be happy, kind. happy people, kind people. People who have their own opinion of the world, not mm. what the world is feeding them. Social media, your name, the attacks, the trends, the jokes that are made, the memes that are made, and all these other things that fall under a negative bracket. And I want to focus largely on the negative because I do know that there is some positive, quite a lot of positive actually. But when the negative comes, it comes hard. And Christian is growing. Tingo is growing. And yeah. these are things as a mother that I also try to think about. Say, they are, they've got access to social media. How does it affect them? Have you seen the impact of it? Do they sometimes no, bring these I, things to uh, you to personally, say, I just saw this? I have not um, experienced that. Mm-hmm. And I hope to God that I won't. Because at the end of the day, your children are your children. They know the person they live with. Mm. They see on a daily basis. Mm. And also, you, you should teach your children that this is life. Not everything is going to be a walk in the park. People are going to come at you, mm. but it does not define who you are. Mm. What about more, more kids? Have you given that thought? Ah, that Sol! <laughs> you give it fast. Maybe you should have on my behalf. Oh, I thought you said maybe I should have like with you or something. No, it's drama with you. No. No, you're mad at like it. You know, you pendu. No, no. Some busy slow. What's a full slow? No, you're mad. You're mad at la. But I'm not paying maintenance. We're not getting your rubbish. No. We're not getting rubbish. You said you were good man. No, no, soul, soul, souls want to have a kid with us. Really, Sundays are dedicated to fathering. I was raised by a single mom, so I know the value uh, of a present dad and you know one who actually tries. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I, I understand you. Hence, I'm the way that I am with my children. I was also raised by a single mom, yeah. and it's so sad that I'm actually doing this again on my own. Ish. But however. I've learned from my mom's mistakes and also from my own mistakes and trying my best to be the best mom that I can possibly be for my kids so that they never get to feel that there's not, they don't have a dad. Kelly, you, I think a lot of people don't understand how loving you are. And they shouldn't, it's not for them to understand. You, you're, will, you, will you still fall in love? Oh, will, def- you, will you keep oh, loving? Definitely, I will never stop falling in love personally i believe we were created by love for love Mm -hmm. so at every corner we should be love we should love Mm. yeah romantic love oh absolutely i love love is there a different you now with your private life where romance is concerned where are you protecting it more now than you did before yes it's for me it's not for the world Mm -hmm. yeah it's another thing that belongs to me Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, what, what happened with with Chad? Because oh, when that break breakup happened, yeah. yeah. So this is my platform, Ew. 
respect me and my effort and me waking up at 6 a in fact at 4 a.m to mm. be here and mm. talk about things that do, are not okay working let's scrap about. that then if you thank yeah, you yeah, so much. you're right yes love you so much <laughs> <laughs> From a point of curiosity, you yeah. know, because no, when it happened, I know, like, and I that's a weird combination, you know. Yeah, it so was it's a cool, weird though. one. Mm. She and, was in a weird it, space. And, and, and I, I Fair enough. Yeah. Listen, the things we do when, when we are in a, in a, a weird, weird space. space. Yeah. yeah, that is true. Yeah. That yeah. is you know true. what I've learned is that when you are in a weird space, stay away, step from, back, yeah, don't just, do anything because whatever decisions that you make at that particular time, you are going to regret. Mm. It's like making decision when planets are on retrograde. Or when yes. you're angry. Oh my god! Or when you're angry, yes. Oh my god! Because yeah. your feelings are all over the place. You yeah. don't even know who you are. So step back. Don't do anything. It's okay to not have anything at that particular time. Be you are not being left behind. Mm. Nothing is leaving you behind. And I think I was in that space of I'm being left behind or there's a space here. I'm trying to fill up a gap. Not knowing oh. that the space that I'm trying to fill up is within myself and it needs me. Mm. Not another person. Yeah. It's 20 minutes after 8. Decoding Kelly Kumalo. Uh, it's a Thursday, 959 breakfast on Kaya 959, on the street, on the air. My name is Kelly Kumala, allowing us to decode her as Sinne. This song, you just educated me now off air, well, educated us off air. This is a remake. It's a remake, yeah. Originally by? It belonged to Mama Yuvon. Chaka Chaka. Chaka Chaka. Yes. She released it when? I think in the 90s or so. Yeah, yeah. and this was the only remake that has been made of yes, the song. Yes, this was the only one. I didn't yeah. even know that hers existed until I was told. Yeah. And I've had to go and research yeah and i was wow. like i said to chico this is the song i want to do simply because i we had a similar situation in my family mm -hmm. where when my uncle passed away the first person that was turned against was my aunt sure mm -hmm. yeah whom Hinted. he was married to Hinted. so I was like you know what there's a lot of women who go through this and they need a voice and I decided to make myself the voice of the voiceless, and not knowing go. that. Art imitating. Like, life. literally, I will yeah. carry that with me. Uh, straight to the phone lines for Kelly Kumalo. Your headphones are on, right? Oh, yes, they this are. This call is specifically for you. You're going to have to guess who this person is. Good morning. Ah. Hello. I can tell you now who that Who's is. Who's this? That's my mother. Ah. Yo, just hello. Hi, Ninja. Niba Gitu, Sia Bonga. Oh, ma. Like that, hello. I knew it. Hi, 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 Gitu. I'm going to get a fucking year again. Gikunum and Gutanda, yo, Unkulunkulum Susile. Ga went on them. Oh, that's it. I'm going to get a whole thing. A police. Yes. I'm going to get a whole thing. I'm going to get a whole thing. I'm going to get a whole thing. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. My God bless you. Thank you so much. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Not much brings you to tears, but no, you know Only my mother's voice. And also, you know the beauty of this is that the Bible says, and having to be blessed by your mother appeal and giving you the blessing of a long life. Mm. That's more than my, that what money can give you, what the world can give you. So hence, I'm very emotional about it that mm. she says, you must live, live. Mm. There's not many people that have the opportunity to have their parents speak so positively over their lives. And my mother just did. 
And that's more than enough for me. Your response to your mother, Kelly, it makes me believe that you're almost like from a public persona and a public perspective and in the point of view of the public, you have to shield yourself and be strong all the time. Yeah. You seem to me like you are a vulnerable person. I am. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm an empath. I'm a scope, I'm a water sign. Mm. So I feel things very deeply, mm. whether negative or positive. Hence, mm. if it's not good for me, I literally block it out because I don't want to feel that much of anything that's negative. The thought of you ever having been cancelled because of cancel culture on social media, uh, did it ever make you feel like, what the hell? No, 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 no. If there's one thing I do not fear is being cancelled. Mm -hmm. I don't fear that. They can try, it's fine. You cannot cancel what you did not create. I'm godly created. So I don't fear. You can talk about it. You can plan it. You can try it. You are more than welcome. Let's see how that turns out. On your mother's words and on your mother's note, blessed be the day that is the 17th of September. <laughs> Thank you. Blessed be the day that it is that you see and know only peace. Thank only. you. Only. Thank you. And respect that you've earned on your own accord yeah. over the years. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to decode you. <laughs> Thank you I've for been joining. decoded! <laughs> been decoded. You're going to catch Thank it on kaya959.co.za. Top of the hour. Don't forget to live light, laugh long, love the ones you're with, and serve those that you love. At your best, just be kind. Have a good day, yo.